All right, guys, we have our first proper update. Look how nice the lighting is too, hey? It's really putting it on for us. It's like 6 p.m. right now. We've been at work and here we are. Um, this is the first change in our land. So our land was curved here. It was like, zook. I've shown you in a very old vlog probably somewhere. But it was curved, right? And this is our section, so obviously they're putting up a retaining wall where this little guy is here. So there will be a nice proper retaining wall at some stage. Obviously I'll show you updates as we go. Um, but that's what they're working on right now, like flattening out this land, I guess, and working at putting up the retaining wall, which will just keep it nice and safe. So these sections kind of go up in staircase looks because it's like up a hill. So that's why they've got to do that. But here's our land. And it's pegged out apparently. Um, can you see where the pegs are, home? Is yeah. that what those orange ones are? Oh, it's survey pegged out. That's not... The boxing's not... Pegged. Oh, I thought the boxing was done. No, it's the... They've just pegged out the survey pegs of where the land area is and then they <gasps> cut in and do all that. Can you see the bird? No, you can't. Um, how exciting though, guys. So, here's our official before shot of our land. Um, I'm very excited. It's gonna look so different in just a few weeks, <laughs> let alone like a year from now. We should be done in about a year, so hopefully by my 30th birthday we will be pretty much finishing up. I want to show you guys the actual like view and everything, and if you do live in Palmy, you know where this is, please just respect my privacy and please just keep it to yourself. Um, it's kind of hard in a small town, you guys know how it is, but you know, um, yeah. Yeah. Right. So he's put in stones for like Dun. all of the stuff that's coming. So will me. this be like our driveway basically? Driveway would be like there, yeah. here. I can see what he means is I'm like it's cut down at the moment so it must be even built up at some point. Yeah. Because you know it needs to be like flat and level. Yeah. Can you see what they mean about here to the low fence at the front? Do you see how it's like low and then it goes up high at the back? Yeah I do. You have to have like certain things at this land um, to do with fences and everything. We'll talk to you guys through it. I've mentioned it a little bit, but so our land goes all the way out here and we actually own part of this reserve as well that rolls down the bank, but we're going to leave it quite natural. But we are going to have a viewing platform that's going to come all the way out here somewhere and it's going to be like out to here and we're going to have like a glass fence so it's safe. Yeah, look, so the dogs the don't get out. It looks so cool. So Have you seen that cool. at night? I think it's lit up at night, isn't it, or something? Or am I? Um, I'm not too sure actually, I've never seen it at night. But look how beautiful. Remember. Maybe they did it for an event or something. Yeah. You can actually see all of the windmills like really nicely. It's probably harder to see in camera, but in person they're very clear. And on a really nice day, you can see them all the way over there on the ranges. And this is normally all water. Obviously it's like quite dry at the moment, so that's normally all water where the stones are. Does um, it go all the... I don't think it covers all of it. Oh, sometimes it, does. it probably does. Yeah, it does. Yeah. 100%. Because look, there's, that's where the um, stop bank stuff is. True. But you, where, where we're sitting here, you're going to be like two stories up. Well, yeah, plus we... Yeah. So right here, we're going to have like our outdoor deck and like a viewing platform. So like it'll run all the way to the edge. Um, and then obviously the house is two-story. We're going to have a balcony, which you'll look out over. You guys have seen the plans already. Um, I've got a playlist. I'll link it below um, where I've tried to have add any vlogs where I've like kind of talked about anything to do with the house so you can like watch them back if you want to and skip through them um over here somewhere we're gonna have our spa so then you'll be able to look out this way and look out over the view um there'll be a patch of grass here for the dogs or pretty much where we're standing uh, one there and one to the right. yeah there's one here and then there's one in front of the spa oh, no behind the spa Ooh, so cool. not a whole lot of grass we're utilizing most of the land but that's not what we want we don't want too much grass like even at our beach house we've got like literally the tiniest bit of grass and it's perfect for the dogs to be honest um because they don't really spend time in the grass it's just kind of for them to go out so yeah it's cold yeah it is cold but yeah so here's the before guys here's the start of the retaining wall i'll show you a close up in a second oh, there's reese's mates house too which one the black one Do you see how yeah it's that's really nice right? yeah that's really nice um here's how the reserve looks too so I have, we're just going to keep it like this it looks nice looks nice and natural we like it you can actually replant it if you want we just don't really want to we don't want to maintain it and i like the way it looks anyway like just real natural and naturey can you hear all the birds do it? It's so beautiful. Yeah, I cannot wait. I am so excited. 
so excited it's just gonna be beautiful and like i feel like it's just gonna be the best every day just looking out at the view the fresh air seeing the ocean oh not ocean sorry river I'm so used to saying seeing the ocean sorry i'm like shivering seeing the ocean because i've had the beach house but yeah literally i cannot wait this is just gonna be the best i'm so lucky and excited and me and hamish are just stoked to get started i'll show you this real quick so here's the star of the retaining wall no one cares really probably but i want to vlog everything for you guys and for myself to look back on one day i just told hamish to go in the car because he's in a t-shirt i'm freezing i'm in a hoodie i think this is the morning sun it goes morning over i think I was like, is it gonna like block out all the sunlight? By the way, my beauty room's gonna be like probably somewhere in line with that. A little digger, like facing over the view downstairs. So it should get really nice lighting like in the morning and lunchtime and stuff, hopefully. But yeah, oh my goodness. How good. So we are officially started. We've broken ground. We've done things. This used to just be a big paddock. And here we are. Yay! So excited can't do it without you guys as well so love you all and thank you all for supporting me over all of these years and just all so exciting i can't wait to share this whole journey with you guys even more because obviously it's so far it's just been planning um and you know architects and showing you the plans and talking about it all with the council and everything so now is like the most fun part actually seeing it come to life so yeah lots of exciting content coming and way more stuff to vlog about which is exciting because you know we've been in lockdown for the past couple of weeks so haven't really had much to say but here we are yay i've literally just oh, started a home highlight on my instagram if you guys want to keep on track with that as well i just put it up and it's just saved right here don't mind my nails i know they're fucked but we're in level three right now so i can't go get my nails done yet There's like a little, so that's the viewing platform that I was talking about that'll go out to the edge. Anyways. This brand wanted to send me some stuff. Um, it's the brand Alani Nu. They messaged me on Instagram and they looked cool. So, hold on. Alani Nu. Here for your taste buds. Balanced wellness made deliciously. And like, I don't know, I just love their page. I just clicked on them when they DM'd me and they wanted to send me some stuff. So we have Fit Snacks Protein Bar, Cookies and Cream. We have Looking Like a Snack Chocolate Cake Flavor. All of the macros. 16 grams of protein, 170 calories, five grams of sugar, gluten free. We've got Peanut Butter Cup. Got super greens powder. Sorry if you can hear Louis crying, he is getting fed. What are these? Do you put your cans in them to keep them cold? What is it? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Community gummies. Protein shakes. What the heck? Are these actually like, wait, vanilla 12 pack? I think they're like cans or something. A lardy no, it's American. Oh my god, look. Those look tasty. The packaging is so cute. 140 calories, 9 grams of carbs. Um. 3.5 grams of fat and 20 grams of protein. Those are cool. Maybe that's what these are for. Oh no, they don't fit in there. So, again. and also, oh, chocolate flavor as well. Oh, we have these. What are these? Breezeberry naturally flavoured oh energy drinks with no sugar. These remind me of those ones I love and I recommended what were those ones? Do you remember the brands? I can't remember the brand. I vlogged about it anyways. I just can't remember either. We've also got cherry slush. Oh god. I don't like cherry. Do you like cherry? 
<laughs> but well, I'm sure someone we know will like you. And then the last ones are Cosmic Stardust. Whatever that means. But hey, I'll give them a shot. I'll let you guys know if they're good or not. Um, yeah, thank you so much, Alani New, for sending me these. They look really cool. I love the packaging, like all the colours and everything are dope. So yeah, we're home now. Just gonna uh chill now. It's been a bigger day. <sighs> right. I'm not drinking this right now, but we've cracked it guys. Fits the uh, energy drink in perfectly. <laughs> We're at the beach house. It is the most gorgeous day. We've just been shopping and buying the doggos some fun new toys, haven't we? And we got this brand new bed. It's um, like a snuggly bed um, from Briscoe's. We got these toys from Bed Bath and Beyond or whatever it's called. Look how good this one is. And he is loving this bed. <laughs> it's so soft. I literally want to like crawl in there. And then we also got this lobster toy that Zeus wants to show you. Oh, okay. Cutest toys. And they're all like really good size for Zeus because so many toys are way too big for him. We took them for a walk on the beach this morning and Louis rolled around in a big old shit. So that was really fun. I had to shower him this morning and I almost vomited about three times. Hey. I'm so happy up here. It's really cool because when we first started coming to this house, obviously, like they didn't really know it. So he's just trying to play with this. You are a jerk. Get that one. Get that one. There it is. And um, they used to just be like really nervous the whole time and like cry, and we couldn't really leave them. Whereas now, when we get here, the dogs just like sprint inside. Or they sprint straight out onto the little grass patch we have, they do their business, they sprint upstairs, they run around, they grab their toys out of the friggin' toy basket. Got toys everywhere, of course. Hey, Zussi. <laughs> um, and they just like are so happy and relaxed. And like they come up to bed and they just sit on the bed and they just sleep and play. And Zeus is like twice as active up here, like he just loves it here. It's so cute. So we love bringing them now and we've got the aircon on for them as well. So they're nice and comfy. So yeah, we just been out for a couple of hours. It's Jerry's birthday. He's coming here later. Who is my wait father-in-law? Hamish's stepdad and father-in-law and my father. Yeah. Anyways, um. Anyway, so Hamish's mum and stepdad are coming up, and we bought him a carrot cake. We're just gonna hang out with them and then head home. Maybe the day after tomorrow. Just a short trip. It's really nice to get out of our house since we've been locked down. We're in level two now, so. All is well, we've been wearing masks everywhere and everything and it looks like everyone's pretty much on board as well. I haven't seen anyone without masks on or fighting it, <laughs> so it's good. Everyone's just chilling and it's a beautiful day and good vibes. Um, we also got some snacks for like a um, cheese platter, so maybe I'll vlog putting it together later on. Look how much he loves that bed. I was like, is it going to be too small for him? But I think it's nice being small because it like cuddles him. Do you know what I mean? He seems to love it. I put the other bed over there in that corner. But I don't know. I've got to find a space for it now. Because these dogs have three beds in here now. And one upstairs. So it's a little bit excessive. Look at this toy as well I bought from Countdown. It's a little wombat. It's a cat toy. But Zeus loves it. And Zeus's favourite toy is also from Countdown. I don't know where it is. Oh there it is. This kangaroo. It's like a real floppy kangaroo. They've ruined it. But it's his favourite. Shit we forgot to check for it. When we were at Countdown just now. God damn it. I'm trying to find another one of this exact one. I know, but I want to find him one of these for at home. Because it's his favorite. So, watch this. He is obsessed with this toy. He's too busy seeing what Hamish is doing now. I bought out one of my favorite candles as well. The rich salty caramel one. Glass house one. It's that boss there. I did an ad for the new collection of candles by Glass House. And holy shit, oh my god, I can smell it from here. It literally smells... Like a friggin' caramel sundae. It's so yummy. Ah, <sighs> feels good. I feel so happy. I said to Hamish, I was like, the last few days, like even at home too, and also just being here, I was like, I actually feel happy. I feel like, like just straight up happy. And like, not sad or anxious or 
you know, etc. Like I just feel happy up here. I love it. Um, and I think it's also partly because stuff's happening at the house. It's all go and I think it's just like something to really look forward to. You know, it's actually happening. It's not like just an idea anymore. It's actually happening and I've got goals and it's, it just feels good. <laughs> Yay! What you got? <laughs> Do you love it? Look at him. Here you can hear the bag open. Out. Out. Out of the kitchen. Thank you very much. Out. You're both very much in the kitchen. Look at his paw. <laughs> You're a jerk. Is it acceptable? He's like, hold on, this is a different shape to normal. When I put Louis in the shower this morning, he like ran into the shower as well at the same time as Louis. I was like, okay, so. You're squeaky clean, aren't you? Yes, you are. camera shy. <laughs> some of the stuff we got. Olives, lemons, I got some mint. Smells so divine. Venue Greek. Gouda. Double cream. We got some uh, normal Gouda. We got some pate because I know Hannah's parents love it. I mean I quite like it too but I don't usually buy it in this legendary dip. Everyone loves that surely. Strawberry and lemons. Also guys, look at this stunning bottle that Sally bought me for my birthday when we came up a few weeks back. Look how gorgeous it is. It's got glitter and like the bottle itself. I'm like, I'm gonna have to keep this bottle and like, I don't know, turn it into something. It's just so stunning. Did you notice that the label actually has glitter on it, hey? Yeah, that's what I said last night. Yeah, like the label itself is gold. Yeah. Oh, it's so nice. Cool. And we have some Don Perignon, or however you pronounce that, for tonight. That we got as a wedding gift from Miss Lola. So if Hamish's parents like champagne, we'll crack it open. Because we are not, you know, huge on it. There it is right there. 2010 model. This is my favourite purchase. An ice maker. See in the back here? Those little rods. The ice gets made around those little rods, so that's all water right there. And when it's ready, it drops it into here. I'll see if I can vlog it. <laughs> I have to time it pretty good though. Damn it, I missed it. See, it drops off them. Ooh. Only I would get this excited about ice maker. The ice gets bigger oh, after that. Yeah, and you're away into using it now, and then it pulls up. How much hates using that bag? Uses too much power. No, but, I but yeah, these will get like real thick later. It's yeah. just that they take a few cycles to get thick because it's still like yeah, chilling. Oh, this one of your olives. Do I need to do more of this cumin cheese? Like, is it real good? Yeah. All right, shall we try this stuff? Do you want to try it? Yes, I'd love to try Which it. Which glass do you want? Ah, uh, bubble one, it's gonna be bubble. One of those lovely, yeah, yeah. no, it's that gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. What, I've still got that. What does Jerry usually, does he have He'll this? do the same. Like that? Yep. Fine. Oh, uh, do you love, do you love the mask? Have you got fancy masks yet? The masks? What do you mean? Masks that you've got to wear out. Oh, yeah, we've yeah. got um, just like black and brown, like I've got like a tie dye look one. Tie I've just got a basic black thing. And I've got it online. Mm -hmm. I have a look for a, a fancy one. Do 
there was a girl come to wait for it. You want to show a young girl came into the theatre. Yeah. And she had a mask on it. It was all Oh, cool. Green. Is that on there? Yeah. Yeah? Where I just need my binoculars here and my glass just to brush my side. That one there. It's down caramel. There. Flavor? Yeah, three down there. I don't know. What does that say? Oh, that's a lot of thing. Oh, it's sort of recycling. Sweet enough. These are little numbers, aren't they? It's just ridiculous though. It's like three. But for me, I to look out there, yeah. all I see is the blue and the blue and there's no definition. Like yeah, you can't see. It's all mingled well. together. Yeah. It's not very good seeing. Oh, we were looking at some today, eh? Shannon, mm -hmm. we're like, fuck I it. was like, I want some, but I'm not paying for them right now. We don't we need them yet. Do Christmas present? <laughs> no, no, no like that's too expensive. Oh, that's all right. Yeah. Good God. Have you had time? I'll buy you a pair. No, 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 no. no. You find them and I'll no, buy them for you. No. 100 percent I will. Hundred percent. You you find some and I'll get uh -huh. some. For, for the same thing. Is it recording? Look again. Do you want to charge this, Shannon? Yeah. Oh, look at all your games there. Yeah. We'll, go, we'll do wingspan. What's wingspan? Haven't you played it last year? You'll love it. You'll love it. Trust me, it's fucking good. Is it hard to lose? And then he oh, snaps the quarter. Oh, shit, you're on. Oh, you did it? <laughs> <laughs> There's no noise. Whoa. Show, yeah. the, show the bottle. Whoa, look oh, at that. Drop that. <laughs> oh, oh, drop it. Oh, <laughs> this is all good waiters can do this for. <laughs> Just do half a glass. Noise. How it tastes? No, 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 wait till you don't. Here's the platter. What? How does it taste? No. Oh, those oh, are cool. falling. Oh, because he might not like it. That's right. Our current favourite game the platter and the beautiful view. Hello, Stunning day. We just got back to Palmy and thought we'd just check and see all of the stuff arriving. Nothing too exciting to show you guys, but. Got some stuff. What's that? Just wood framing. What are those big poles for? Are they for the retaining wall? Yeah. Retaining wall stuff. Oh, what a beautiful day. <laughs> There's the update. Nothing too exciting. <laughs>